How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another booze review. So today's video we're going to be reviewing some IPAs that I think look really interesting. So to just jump straight into what we've got here, and we've got an Oakham Citra Session IPA. Zesty Hoppy Citrus, this is 4.6% and I picked it up from Morrison's for £2 for the bottle. I didn't think that was too bad, it's 500 milli bottle. It says here, um, just a little bit of information on it. 2009, on his annual hop sourcing visit to the USA, Oakham's brewing director, John Bryan, discovered an exceptional new hop variety, Citra. Um, and then he rushed it and they became the first people to put it out as a citrusy um, IPA. So I'm really intrigued about this one. Um, if you know my videos, things like that, uh, you'll know that I love things with a bit more flavour, especially citrusy things. So I'm excited to give this one a whirl. Then after that, we've got... Um, I honestly can't remember where these came from. They might have been a Christmas present. No, they weren't. I don't know where these came from. So, but they look good. I think I've just picked them up as I've been going around, actually. Um, this one is Jute Session IPA. Um, this is a 4.2% hazy. It says juicy as well. Um, there's not a great deal of information on it in terms of taste um, or anything like that. So this one's just going to be all a surprise. Um, I'm trying to go for things that I've not really tried or heard of as much. Uh, this I have heard of. It's Thornbridge Brewery. It's called Jamestown. It's a New England IPA. This one is 5.9%. Um, again, just this is just going to be a standard IPA. So that one, probably not as much flavour. Right, let's do this. Um, I think we're going to leave that one to last, perhaps, because that is the one I'm more excited about. And we're going to start with this Jamestown New England IPA. Um, like I said, it is a 5.9% volume one, so I'm expecting it to be quite strong. Ah, and we're open. So, whilst we're pouring this, obviously I shouldn't have to tell you to do this because you should have already done it. But uh, if you could subscribe and like this video if you enjoy it, obviously if you don't, you don't have to. Um, but if you want to subscribe for more boozy videos, uh, you'll be able to do so in the bottom right corner of this video. There should be a little logo there that allows you to do it. I have not poured that all that well. We've got a lot ahead. So, it's quite hazy. One minute, sorry. Cleanse the old palate. Um, it's quite cloudy. As you can see, it's quite pale, which it should be. Cause it's, oh, no, this isn't a pale ale. A pale IPA, sorry. Um, yeah. It's not a great deal to say. What what we got on smell? Oh, wow. That smells really nice. Wow. It doesn't smell too strong. It doesn't smell like it'd be a 5.9%. Smells quite fruity. Uh, soft in body, huge in character. Oh, fruit and citrus. Should have saved this one. By flavours of papaya and pineapple, that's what it is. It's pineapple. Ooh. I'm really intrigued by this one. All right, let's give it a whirl. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's crazy. That's really smooth. It goes down absolutely beautifully. The pineapple is there. It's just screaming. There's something else that I can't really identify, which I'd say is papaya, because that is something that I'm not familiar with. Like, obviously, the fruit, never eaten it or anything like that. So I'd say that is definitely the papaya. So they've done incredible there with the flavours. Oh, wow. That is nice. That is really good. That is perfect. Really like that. That That's off to a flying start. Could not recommend that enough. Like I say, it's smooth, goes down nice, and say it's 5.9%. It's not too heavy on you. It doesn't feel like it's going to be too filling. It's um, it's really nice, easy to drink, drink. Um, wow. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, I went with that one first because I thought maybe that might we might go from poorest to best, but no, that is brilliant. So if that is the poorest one, the worst one, I can be very happy with this episode. <laughs> Next is um, the Jute Session IPA. Um, I don't know who this is by, like the brewery. Um, it says here the Salt Beer Factory. Um, I haven't got a clue. Like It doesn't say any other information about who they are, what they are. But yeah, we're going to give it a go. If it's good, I'm sure we can find out where it's from. Ooh, what the hell? It smells salty. Oh, weird. That was a really weird, like, 
first impression in terms of smell. What we got? Oh, fucking hell, I cannot pour a drink today to save my life. Bloody hell. We've managed to tame it a little bit. Okay, so... It's not... It does smell quite salty, which I find really odd. There's a bit of a... <laughs> i say it's a bit, maybe some hints of like a citrusy, I just can't get past the salt really, right, let's just give it a taste. Hmm, it's, I do it my head in. it's not that bad. It's not special. I wouldn't say it's juicy, I wouldn't say it's fruity, I mean, I suppose there's a tiny hint of like, it's a bit bitter, um, it's smooth enough, but it is bitter, yeah, it's bang average, I'd say, um, not, not amazing, nothing worth writing home about, would I go out and buy it again, no, no, there's definitely better out there. For starters, this Jamestown uh, Thornbridge one that we've just tried definitely takes the top spot. Um, but yeah, it's, it's okay. Like I say, it's bang average. I'm not massively impressed with it. But now, we're on to the bad boy. We're on to the Oakham Citrus Session IKEA. If this one turns out to be bad, I'm going to be a bit gutted because I've been looking forward to trying this one. Right, let's get it poured and hopefully do a decent job of it. Okay. Some would say not enough, I'd, I'd say that's perfect. So, straight away, this one is a lot darker, but it's also quite clear. So, if we compare it to the Thornbridge... Obviously, it's dark in colour, but it's it's also very clear. You can well, you can see straight through it, whereas with this one, you can't even slightly. Um, so, let's give it a smell. Nothing special coming through in terms of smell. A bit watery, maybe. But no, nothing, nothing special there. Right, bottoms up. That's not nice. <laughs> no, that's really not nice at all. Like, it's sour. It's really bitter. There's nothing even remotely citrusy about it. It's not good. Not even slightly. No. God, I, when I started this video, I said I wanted to go, like, poor, worst to, to best, but... We've gone best to worst. That is horrendous. And I was really looking forward to this one. No, it's just bitter. It's like repeating on me already. So, basically, this Jamestown uh, New England IPA from Thornbridge Brewery is absolutely fantastic. Cannot recommend this one enough at all. Um, these small cans are normally not that expensive, maybe like a couple of pound each, which I know can be considered dear, but if you just want a drink that you can really enjoy, that's the one for you. Second up, it'd be this. It was okay, it was average, I wouldn't go out and get it again. And then, obviously, last place has to be the Citrus Session IPA. It was awful, absolutely terrible, 100%. Will not buy it again. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, found it somewhat useful, or even just slightly entertaining. Uh, if so, obviously, just... Leave a like down there. Um, don't forget to subscribe for more uh, regular content. At least one a week uh, is what I try to go for. Uh, but if we can do more, perfect. Uh, there'll be more stuff coming soon, including the cocktail videos um, and some comparisons of like cheap versus expensive, things like that. So yeah, stay tuned. Thank you so much. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think if you've tried any of these. And give me a comment. Let me know if there's any IPAs or any booze, whether it's ales, spirits, 
ciders, lagers, whatever, that you think I should give a go to, really. Uh, but yeah, other than that, thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.